here. Friends, both public and private, have come together today to celebrate the dedication of the completion of yet another phase of the Greenway, Phase 3 and Phase 4. Phase 3 that was part of the Ivy Terrace was finished back this summer. But we appreciate the, the insistence of Friends of the Parks and they're pushing us forward with this. While I'm at the podium, I'd like to recognize some of our partners. Our funding partner, Federal Transportation Enhancement Funds through the Department of Transportation, uh, and our commissioner will be introduced to the in just a few minutes. But Russell McMur McMurray, who is here with us today, is the DOT district engineer. T funds in the amount of $1,899,000 have been provided through that grant project for this with a local match of over $510,250. Our architects and engineers, Jordan Jones and Goulding, Don Allen, President and CEO of JJ&G, cannot be with us tonight, but Ben Williams with JJ&G is here with us tonight, and also Brad Jones. Darrell Rochester with Rochester & Associates, and Brian Rochester with uh, Rochester & Associates as well were our engineers. The general contractor for Phase 3, the Ivy Terrace portion, was L.C. Whitford and Company out of Alpharetta and was under the city management of Paul Krippner. Paul, I think everybody knows, was our project manager for that, recently retired and we miss him. And Phase 4 connector, Triscapes Landscaping out of Cumming, Georgia, and Quinn Martin and his wife are here with us tonight and we're glad that he's here to celebrate in this as well. And uh, Barkley Fouts, where's Barkley and his family of kids? I think Barkley Fouts served as our city's project engineer on this project here and brought us through it as well. But we're so thankful for the partnership that has been formed today and we appreciate you being here tonight. But I, this is very special for me because about, Joe Biddy and I can't remember how many years ago it was that we started, and I was just in a very small way, was on the first little committee that sort of started the Friends of the Parks because we were real concerned about Ivy Terrace and the erosion and the tree loss and the, and the uh, loss of the stream bank and we wanted to stabilize that and the, the group came together and I know Michael Graham was hired as the first director and just time's gone on but it's just so wonderful to see the partnership that has evolved as, as you've already said and Jim said so well and, and Melvin partnership between the city between Park and Rec and between the Friends of the Parks which is now the Friends of Gainesville Parks and Greenway because they don't want to just stop now that we have finished this park but to go on and do things in other parts of the city we appreciate the um, the people from the uh, Department of Transportation. I remember years ago starting to talk about the possibility of the T grants. They came through. They've been wonderful for us, and we couldn't have done that without the Department of Transportation. Our staff has been wonderful, Paul, the uh, Park and Rec staff, our engineering staff. Um, we just it's just a wonderful partnership all all together. The dedication of the Rock Creek Parkway Greenway today ties in nicely with three of the 15 big ideas of Vision 2030. First, the Green Space Initiative. By 2030, it is our goal for Gainesville County to have the greatest amount of protected green space, which includes parks, recreation areas, and privately owned open land of any urban county in Georgia. The Green Space Group is currently working with the City of Gainesville and Hall County on Pacific pedestrian trails, specifically the Hall Central Hall Trail. Second initiative is our Culture of Wellness initiative. A healthy community is one that embraces the belief that health is more than merely an absence of disease. A healthy community includes those elements that enable people to maintain a high quality of life and productivity. A healthy community has roads, schools, playgrounds, parks, walking, biking, and pedestrian trails that everyone can utilize. Giving our citizens somewhere to walk, run, and bike also ties in with our goal of being the most fit community and other wellness initiatives outlined in the Vision 2030 document. The last initiative that ties in with the Greenway is creating a community connectedness. The Greenway gives people options while creating destinations where people can gather and enjoy this great community we all, enjoy, we all love. So on behalf of Vision 2030, I'd like to thank everyone involved with the Friends of Gainesville Parks and Greenways and the City Park of Gainesville Park and Recreation Department. And I'd like for you to take a moment and congratulate yourself. Deciding to invest in this park and greenway is an important step in making our community a healthier and happier place in which to live, work, and play. As we like to say at Vision 2030, the future is ours to see. 
growing up here, being a native of here, I can remember Ivy Terrace being called Thunder Road. And Linda and I went down Thunder Road, and I'm sure Danny was behind me. Danny Dunnigan was behind me. But uh, can remember as a child growing up, that uh, all it was was abandoned mica mines. And I don't know if many of you remember that or not. Uh, but it was washed out, kudzu, and it was a place for people to get in trouble. And it's, it's a nice vision to see reality today. It's my honor to introduce the commissioner of the Georgia Department of Transportation, Vance C. Smith, Jr. Twice, two different speakers mentioned something about Public, the public and private working together and after having a chance to go around and speak into a number of groups here in Georgia and around Atlanta and in South Georgia uh, I've come to realize I have I guess two favorite words or terms if you want to call it and one's relationships and the other's partnerships if you build those great relationships amongst friends or business people uh, community organizations, if you build those relationships and form those partnerships, you can pretty much accomplish anything that you want to if you really have the want to. You really got to have that want to to want to do it. And that's the reason I think if we stay positive, whether it is kind of tough economic times or things are a little bit slow, but if we have that dream and that destination that we want to reach, I think if we continue down that path and stay positive, and build those relationships and partnerships, we can certainly do that. It's an honor for me to represent Jordan Johnson Golding today, um, but I also want to say a special word of thanks to uh, Brad Jones. Brad, Brad is the landscape architect who's been involved uh, through the majority of this project and the time that we've been involved with it over the last eight years. And uh, it is, uh, it's good to see a project of this type uh, come to uh, Completion. We are ready to cut. <laughs> ready when you are. You want to cut it? Sure. All right, here we go. All right. 